Even though I've never been in jail before, I take a lot of inspiration from inmate style training. Main reasons because just look at them. Sometimes there's certain inmates they take their training very seriously. And when they come out, they just built like warriors. And I took loads of inspiration from that when I first started. And after watching plenty of documentaries, hearing a bunch of stories, testimonials, behind this, it's just everything I need to know about how to look like a warrior. It's a simple fact that it's just intense, full body workouts. When I say like muscle growth, performance, everything is through the roof off of the simple fact that you have to train very intensely. And when it comes down to it behind those walls, you have to train intensely in order to become that vicious beast. You can't half-ass anything because one thing for sure, if you get caught lacking, what you gonna do? You out of shape, don't know how to defend yourself. All in all, it's all a mindset behind those bars. But bruh, full body calisthenics is true key. I always preach calisthenics on this channel because ultimately, if you want to look like that superhero, if you want to look like you actually work out, man, I'm telling you, pull-ups, dips, push-ups, bodyweight squats, jumping lunges, you name it, are key fundamental movements that I feel like everybody should be doing and it's mandatory. But it's how the way you do them. If you want to reap the full benefit of calisthenic movements, you have to take it to the max. And that's the thing about MA style training is they take it to the max. They're not working out to look good. They're trying to train for performance. Calisthenics is functional style training. And if you focus mostly on performance, you are getting better at certain movements. Like example, you're flat out garbage at pull-ups. You can't even do one. No, no, no. Scratch that. Push-ups. Hey, if you can't do one push-up, I need to talk to you. You need to listen to this video right here, right now, because I'm talking right directly to you. You need to fix that. We got to turn out one push-up into two push-ups and two push-ups into three, four, five, ten, fifteen, all the way up to fifty even. The key is master the push-up. And seeing yourself progress in the push-up, all of a sudden you look in that mirror and you start to see the changes in your physique. You're mastering a fundamental movement, a big-time pressing movement, something you pretty much do every day without you even realizing. Key is get better. It's not all it's push-pull legs. Spump all that. It's push up whenever you feel like it because you suck at doing them. So you're going to get better at doing them. Same thing for the pull up. Trash at doing pull ups. So we're going to turn that one pull up into two pull ups, two pull ups, and then three pull ups, four, five, six, all the way up to 10, 20, 30. He's going to get stronger and stronger. Add weight to it. But it's all in the mindset. You have to train hard to look hard and that's why I took loads of inspiration from MMA style training if you someone that goes to the gym and do not push yourself you have this routine and it's straight cookie cutter and you just don't even push yourself and wonder why you experiencing plateaus wondering why you ain't seeing no results oh that's tough get in the mindset of I just want to progress I want to become the warrior, warrior mindset. That's why I installed in my head, because when you think about it, prison is a dangerous place full of dangerous individuals, degenerates, losers, criminals, people that just want to take your life just because they're envious, stupid rules. Think about it in the outside world. Sure, we got guns out here. We, we ain't trying to fight, but just hypothetically speaking, nobody is trying me out here in these streets. I took that inmate mindset and applied it in the free world because ultimately it's just as dangerous out here. For real, it's scary out here. I want to know that, A, I'm going to protect myself. In order to protect myself, I got to do whatever it takes to get better. Get better one day at a time. 
bust my push-ups, get my cardio in, get my pull-ups in, my push-ups, but always have the mindset of I just want to get stronger. I want to at least do one more rep, one more pound added, another day, another minute added, a step forward towards my progression, towards whatever goal I set myself to do. And seeing myself progress is going to keep me inspired, motivated, and dedicated into this craft to becoming a warrior. Because you ain't messing with me, bruh. Try me. For real. But that's the mindset. That's what keep you going. But see, you so focus on how you look in the outside instead of the inside. How you going to perform mentally. Are you going to let somebody push you over? Walk all over you? Try you? Hell no. Ultimately, this is a mind, body, and spirit journey of turning yourself into a warrior. Yeah, no, I don't praise inmates necessarily. But one thing I can say and take away is their training. Because they in a dangerous environment. And do they want to become prey to the predators? Hell no. But you can almost apply that same mindset towards the streets. Do you want to become prey to the predators out here in these streets? Because there's so many of them surrounded. You surrounded. You damn near can't even tell the difference anymore. But you ain't even going to become prey. You're not going to become prey. You ain't got time for that. You have to keep investing time, energy, dedication into becoming the best version of yourself possible. The reason why you can make so much progress with this style of training because it's very intense. You have to become intense. Certain exercises like burpees, jogging, shadow boxing, they all take loads of elements into you have to defend yourself, become a warrior. When it comes down to rep ranges, sets and reps, there's no such thing. You're going to keep doing it until you feel the burn. So you just can't do it no more. You exhausted. All right, I tap. I tap. And that's what you call till exhaustion. You train yourself till you exhausted. Now you recover from that training. You do it all over again. But even harder than last time. Do it again over and over and over. It's a whole cycle. But the key words are harder than last time. You can't sit here and keep the same... Oh no, grind it out. I'm telling you, full body calisthenics is really slept on. Genuinely, if you try to master the movements. But you can almost apply that same style of training into full body weightlifting. The free weights, dumbbells. If you have a weak bench, squat, deadlift, overhead press, all that, we're going to have to fix that. There's certain prisons that have free weights. You have to sit there and go in with that mindset of I'm a warrior. I'm going to keep on leveling my fucking my numbers up, my progress up. So if your overhead press is 100 pounds, we're going to turn that to 135, 155, 205, 225. If your bench is 135, we're going to go from 135 to 225 to 315. Progression. Progression. Warrior mindset. Nobody is going to try you. If you focus on the progression, the results is you being a Dorito chip. You got all this muscle on you on this frame. Everybody going to look at you like, yo, what are you taking? But you ain't taking nothing. You just been grinding your ass off every time you step in the gym or when you step in that park and you under that bar. About to put those pull ups in. You're mastering the movement. You're getting better. You're, you're progressing. Progression. Mindset. If you stay consistent, whew, I'm telling you, 